Let's begin with you and your husband going to attend the games. The first game you went to was Iran versus England. What happened there? Yes, for the first game uh, match between Iran and England, uh, we wore uh, lion and uh, sun t-shirt, and then uh, which, which is one of uh, our uh, symbol for our revolution. Uh, while Iran national anthem uh, played, I waved my flag, and then um, during the uh, during the match, some of the uh, people uh, starting chanting uh, slogans like "Woman, Life, Freedom," and say her name, Masa Amini, who was killed by uh, I, by Malariti police. And then uh, after about uh, uh, half an hour, uh, two security guy uh, came over and asked us to, uh, you do not allow to wave this flag, and you have to give us uh, your flag. And we refused. We refused to give them our flag. And also, the, the other thing that uh, we were shocked, uh, the guy that asked us to follow him out of the stadium, he had uh, two Lego on uh, his uniform. The, the one side, he has the uh, Islamic Republic uh, uh, logo on one side. And the other side, he also has a uh, Qatari police. And we were confused. We, uh, we, we didn't know he's from. Uh, uh, Qatari police or he's for an Islamic regime right, and right. he did refuse. And, yeah, I'm uh, just going to jump in for one moment because this is great. You're, you're really painting a picture for us. I want people at home to understand. So the flag that you were waving has, is the Iranian flag pre-Islamic revolution in, the 19, in 1979. So it has the symbol of the lion with the sun and the sword. This has been reappropriated by protesters in Iran now, saying this is their true flag, not the Islamic regime's flag, just in case people are confused. And that yes. security guy, that is unusual because you're either security for Qatar or the World Cup, or your security for the Iranian regime, but some man wearing both badges seems to indicate he's working for both. So when you saw him, what did you think? Yeah, I thought he's from uh, Islamic regime. I was believe he's not Qatari police. That's why we did refuse to uh, to follow him or to show. He asked us to show our ID, and uh, the other thing he asked uh, to show him our cell phone. And uh, it was end of the game. We, uh, we were out of the stadium, and he stopped us for uh, half an hour, and he asked us show me uh, your ID and uh, show me your cell phone you have to delete all the photo and video that you record inside the stadium. And I said, no, I have to talk to uh, the sup your supervisor or, or real uh, Qatari police. And after about an hour, a group of Qatari police came over and they said, OK, uh, follow us. And uh, we, uh, we went to a police station. We were there for about three hours. And uh, all the Qatari police they grab all our information, our ID card, and um, the name of the hotel that we were stay and also all the ticket that we had for the next matches not the ticket just for the Iran and after the three hours they released us and uh, they said if for the next match uh, you are not uh, allowed to bring uh, uh, any t-shirt with the woman life freedom or any or the flag with the lion and sun if you want to bring this t-shirt or flag you, you we will not guarantee your safety but you and did go. You did go to the next match, and you did take the flags. You did take your T-shirts. What happened there? Yes, for the next match, which was between Iran and Wales, um, uh, it was uh, almost end of the game. Uh, again, I wear this T-shirt, uh, and uh, I wave my flag, Lion and Sun. Uh, it was five minutes uh, end of the game, uh, two security, uh, Qatari security police came over and asked me, uh, give me your flag. You are not allowed to wave this flag. And I told him, uh, I saw a different flag also in the stadium. Just see uh, two row behind us. They, uh, the people has another flag. And uh, immediately they took our flag and he went uh, inside the stadium, outside the gate, I mean. And then we followed them and I asked him, please give me back the uh, our flag, and he he didn't listen to us. And outside the gate, uh, the, um, the match was um, finished. And outside the game, we start to chanting uh, uh, our um, our. Um, um,
women life freedom? Yes, language, uh, yes our rest language was a woman life freedom and also like say her name Mahsa Amini. Immediately a group of uh, Qatarian police surrendered us and they said you are not allowed to wearing this t-shirt and you are not to allow chanting here and uh, at the same time I was recording uh, around the stadium and then a group of Qatari police uh, surrendered my husband and then uh, 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 and then uh, handcuffed uh, him with the uh, cable uh, with the plastic cable tied uh, very tightly and uh, grab it uh, him on the ground. And then at the same time, a group of female Qatari police came to me and took my cell phone as well and escorted me uh, till outside the stadium. And I was outside the stadium. Uh, they separated us. I, I was outside the stadium for an hour. I just uh, I was crying and uh, and say, begging them, please, please let me go inside the stadium. I am alone here in, uh, in Qatar. And, uh, I was so scared, uh, scared, but they didn't allow me to uh, to go to the um, a stadium. And they said, no, you cannot go with this T-shirt. You have to change your T-shirt. And then after an hour, uh, they took me to police station uh, to find my husband. And then they said, we release your husband. We don't know where he's, uh, he's outside the stadium. And then, uh, I don't know from where, someone maybe upload the uh, video that the Qatari police arrested my husband, and it was in social media. The Qatari police re realized our, um, uh, the movie that, the, the time that they arrested uh, my husband, it's in social media right now. And again, they arrested me. And they said, now you are not allowed to go outside the uh, police station, and again, we uh, arrest your husband. Hila, I just want to let you know that we are looking at images of your husband's arrest. We also looked at images of you being escorted by the female Qatari police services. Um, this looks really frightening. Uh, mm -hmm. And you could have left. You could have come back to Canada at that point, but you decided to go to the Iran versus U.S. game. Why did you do that? Because I believe, uh, I believe this is the only thing that I had to do to support my people, to support Iranian people. They don't have any voice in Iran. The, uh, the Islamic regime shut down the internet in Iran. They don't have any voice. And I believe this, it was the best chance that I can be their voice. And then uh, when we were in police station, they asked us to sign a statement. And they said, if you don't sign this statement, which was uh, you are not allowed to bring any more uh, uh, flag, lion, and sign, and also woman life freedom. Uh, and then uh, after we signed a, a, a statement, uh, they said, now we have to check your cell phone. Uh, and I refused. I, I said, no, I don't want to give you my, this is my personal cell phone. And they said, okay, we took your cell phone for four business days, but we sent it to other uh, office and uh, they check your cell phone and delete all the photo and the video that you had. And then I accept, I accept and, and I give them my cell phone and they check all the movies and a photo that I had, they hold my uh, um, cell phone and they delete, they delete all the photo and movie that I recorded inside the stadium. Hila, this is an incredible ordeal. Your story has been shared all over the world. Your images have been shared all over the world. Now you're back home. Do you feel safe now? Um, sometimes, uh, sometimes when I receive uh, threatened in in social media, of course, yes, I am I am scared, but it won't stop me. It won't stop me to support my people, my Iranian people, because uh, I believe uh, I, this revolution it won't happen if everyone does not do the small part in it. We have to support Iranian people. So it was worth it for you, despite the possibility of what could have happened? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hila, I want to thank you very much for your time. Thank you for sharing this story with us. It really gives us a sense of what the protesters in Qatar are dealing with. Thank you. Thank you for having me.